uh, here in this video I am going to show you the mirror plane symmetry and the axis of symmetry in cube why I am choosing cube because it is simple to get a cube like this and we can actually see many number of symmetry and it has uh, it can show the highest number of symmetry as compared to the other crystal system although this is not a crystal but uh, as it is easy to find a cube around us so it will be very helpful to understand how these symmetry planes are oriented in a cube and how axis of symmetry they actually work and how they are oriented in cube uh, the cube system uh, this cube belongs to the isometric system the form cube an example is pyrite although i don't have pyrite i have this toy to show the symmetry at first i am going to show you the mirror plane symmetry the mirror plane in this object cube have to pass through the center of this object and it have to uh, divide this object into two mirror halves okay so that is the rule for a mirror plane so the first mirror plane that is going to pass is like this okay that means it should be oriented like this the second mirror plane that is going to pass is like this okay so it should be like this first one was like this okay first one was like this second one is like this okay now the third one is from front to back okay like this so this is the third one now the fourth one is from this uh, coming from this edge and going out or passing out from this edge or vice versa from this edge to this edge so the orientation of that plane should be like this okay so by my hand I can show you like this okay and the fifth one would be oriented like this okay that means from this edge to this edge like this okay so this is the fifth player mirror plane now the sixth one is from the back edge that means this side and uh, coming from this side and going out from this side or coming from this side passing out from this side so the orientation of the mirror plane would be like this okay by my hand I can show you the orientation of mirror plane would be like this okay so this is sixth one now the seventh one would be oriented like this okay coming from this edge passing from this edge or coming from this edge passing up from this edge same thing okay so it should be oriented like this from coming from this side to this side okay or in a simple way I can show this by this okay the next mirror plane would be oriented like this okay coming out coming in from this side passing out from this side okay so oriented like this okay so orientation would be looking like this and then next one is okay this was the eighth and the ninth would be like this okay oriented from this to this okay its orientation would be like this now these were the nine mirror planes in a cube and cube has only nine mirror planes that I have shown you now let's comes to the axis of rotation what are axis of rotation okay so that axis should pass through the object and it uh, while rotating along that object uh, along that axis the object have to show a uh, same identity or same entity or same face okay in complete 360 degree rotation okay so the first uh, so the first 
axis I'm going to show you is a fourfold axis. The cube has three axes of fourfold symmetry. What happened fourfold x uh, fourfold axis? Fourfold axis. Uh, if you rotate along fourfold axis, you will come to have four entities repeating in complete uh, four times in complete 360 degree rotation. Okay. So first axis would be like this coming in from this side passing out from this side okay so our axis would be like this so this is phase one two three four and again one so in complete 360 degree rotation we have four such faces now the second four fold axis would be like this okay first one is like this coming in from this side passing from this side second one will be coming from the front passing from that back okay so it's it will be oriented like this okay so first face that you're going to have is this one top two three and again four so this is axis of fourfold symmetry the second axis of fourfold symmetry so we have one two and then we have third one this is also the axis of fourfold symmetry this is phase one phase two phase three phase four and again phase one okay so this was the third axis of fourfold symmetry okay and the cube has only three axis of fourfold symmetry now it comes to that comes to three uh four axis of threefold symmetry the cube has four axis of threefold symmetry what is threefold symmetry threefold symmetry has if you rotate the cube or the object we have along this axis of threefold symmetry we are going to see uh we are going to see three repeat uh, three times repetition of that same entity in a complete 360 degree rotation okay so we have to uh, place the uh, axis like this okay from this corner to this corner okay of the object so here we can see the repetition three times one two and three again one so we are going uh, so we are going to have three uh, three times uh, rotation uh, the face are repeating three times in a complete 360 degree rotation one two three and again one okay so this is three uh, this is the axis of threefold and then we have uh, so the next question is how many such axes are possible we have one two three and four okay we have four axis of threefold symmetry in cube and one more easy way to calculate this is we need one two corner for one axis of threefold symmetry and how many such corners are possible in a cube we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight such corner okay so in order to pass in order to have threefold axis we have uh, one threefold axis we need two corners and we have total uh, eight corners so how many threefold axis are possible so eight divided by two that means four okay so these four axes are one two three and four okay now it's come, let's come to see how two fold axes are positioned in cube. For Q, for two fold axis, you have to pass the axis from the center of an edge, okay, coming in from center of the edge and passing out from opposite side, from the opposite edge, okay. So you have to place the axis like this, okay. You have to place an axis like this coming in from this side passing from this side okay so this is the axis of twofold how look at this face face one I'm rotating this is edge this is face two again an edge and then again face one 
okay so this is the axis of two fold symmetry how many such two fold axis are possible in q one two three four five six we have six axis of two fold and one easy way to find this thing uh, is we have in a cube we have how many edges we have one two three four five six seven eight uh, nine ten eleven twelve okay we have 12 edges in a cube and to in order to make a uh, axis of two fold uh, a two fold axis consume uh, two edge, uh, one axis of two folds uh, consume two edges okay this one edge second edge okay and how many such two fold axis are possible we have 12 axis of uh, 12 edges so 12 divided by 2 that is 6 6 is axis, uh, 6 axis of two fold symmetry are possible in a cube thank you